Welcome back to CU TV News Center. Tragic news today as Natasha Richardson has passed away. Richardson, the wife of Liam Neeson and daughter of acting legend Vanessa Redgrave, hit her head while taking a beginner skiing lesson and initially had no problems. However, she soon began suffering severe headaches and was later hospitalized. Two days later, Richardson was pronounced brain dead and was taken off life support late Wednesday. Richardson herself was a Tony Award winning actress for her role in Cabaret and was the mother from the remake of The Parent Trap. Richardson was 45. After grappling with the prospect for some time, Mickey Rourke is now rumored to be back on the ticket for WrestleMania. Rourke originally dropped his name from the event after a war of words erupted between him and fellow fighter Chris Jericho. However, on the newest episode of Monday Night Raw, Jericho hinted Rourke may be back. He called the actor out, promising him the end of their fight would be more tragic than Rourke's film, The Wrestler. WrestleMania 25 is scheduled for April 5, 2009. And in music news, Kanye West could be facing up to two and a half years in prison for his involvement in a camera smashing incident. TMZ obtained the following footage of this incident. Kanye, wearing the gray hoodie, can be seen ripping the flash out of a cameraman's hands and smashing it on the ground. His manager in red is also being brought up on charges for his involvement in this incident. The Grammy Award winner was charged with three counts, all criminal misdemeanors, which include vandalism, battery, and grand theft. His court date is set for April 14th. The first daughters, Sasha and Malia Obama, were surprised again today by the Jonas Brothers. After their unannounced concert for the Obamas during the inauguration, the Jonas Brothers announced the first daughters have a VIP pass for life for their concerts. This created a big buzz for their tour, which starts June 20th, when the musicians are trying to ensure the daughters are at their DC show on July 13th. Kevin Jonas is quoted as saying that he hopes the first family will come out and watch the show and that they are always invited. Coming to the Vulcan Theater this weekend is the 2008 historical thriller, Valkyrie. The film depicts the Adolf Hitler assassination attempt of 1944 by German army officers. Tom Cruise takes on the lead roles the key conspirator, Klaus von Stauffenberg. Cruise tries to use a plan called Operation Valkyrie to kill Hitler and then have the army take over the country in a national emergency, thus sending the Nazi regime. Despite a great deal of protests in Germany, the film ended up being a critical and commercial success. Valkyrie is rated PG-13 and can be seen at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. in the Vulcan Theater. I also have two events for your Cal calendar this week. The International Dinner is Sunday, March 22nd. The event is held in the Natali Performance Center and will have a Middle Eastern cuisine and a keynote speech by President Armenti. Also, a new exhibit, From Earth to Space, opened in the library this week and will be held there until May 1st. The exhibit hosts a video globe and over 40 amazing satellite images of the Earth, so check it out. All right, guys, so we have a lot of WrestleMania news. Good to hear. What are some of your uh, favorite WrestleMania matches? Um, well, mine's actually fairly, not too current, but um, WrestleMania 21, I believe it was, Shawn Michaels versus my personal favorite Pittsburgh Zone, Kurt Angle. Well, I'm, I don't really watch it too much, but I like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, well, Drew, mine actually involves Shawn Michaels, too, but back from my childhood when he had that marathon match against Bret the Hitman Hart, one yes. of my favorite matches of all time. A classic, indeed. Thanks, Jared. Coming up next on News Center, Alex Kunkel has your sports.